Howdy folks, Kiwi here, and welcome back to Minecraft Story Mode, a safe space in which to be awesome, it's season two. Welcome back. Now you, Jesse. Fred was a loyal fan of the color blue, we all know that. But what kind of blue did he love the Sky most? Sky blue. The time begins now. Come on, Jesse, you can do this. Lapis blue. Silence from the audience, please. Yeah, come on, Radar, chill. His favorite color was lapis blue. That is correct. Well done. Next question. Uh huh. Hint. Fred was a man of simple means, but he had one point of excess. His favorite tool. What was it? I know that. A diamond hole. Obviously. Very good. Obviously. Jesse, Fred had a constant companion, a fine feathery friend. <laughs> what was that pet's name? We actually met a chicken. Sir clucks a lot. <laughs> really? Waffles. Yeah, Fred's can you guys shut up? His best friend was named Waffles for the way he was always waffling. That is correct. Yeah. I am rather astounded that the competition continues to be this close. Right? Kent. It's amazing. You might finally lose your title. <laughs> He's gonna freak out about Listen it. Listen closely, both of you. Yes. The final question is one that only the most faithful friend to What was his friend's name? No. As such, it is worth double. Whoever answers this question correctly. First, I'm gonna get it wrong. Do 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 do. Of all the trees in the forest. Oh, I know this. All the wood. We once built our homes with. This was Fred's favorite. What was it? It was a thing I didn't learn what? here. No one knows that. Fred didn't play favorites with resources. I'm gonna just gonna ah, let this play out. But that's where you're wrong. But but I, I. Time's running out. We need an answer. It was Birch. It's Birch. It's Birch. You. Uh... Yes. Yes. Birch was Fred's favorite. That's right, Jesse. <laughs> Dude, shut the fuck up. Jesse. Both of you. Congratulations. That was very impressive. I'm sure I'm not the only one surprised by this turn of events. As uh -huh. your prize, you will spend one night in Fred's house. Alone. Be careful not to disturb its contents. I will respect them with the Here utmost appreciation. Are your sleeping garments. Sleeping garments? The true <laughs> mark of Fred. Only the champion gets to wear these. It's a very special privilege. What well, can't happen? Kent did a great job out there. He should have the uh, sleeping garments. You would really. I don't need your pity prize. Why does everyone think it's pity? I'm just being a good person. Here's an idea. No one gets them. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> whatever. Whatever. Jesse. They didn't look very it didn't look very long. I hope you find what you're looking for. Thank you. I won fair and square. Hey, chicken. Chicken, 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 chicken. Okay, if I were a weapon of some sort, where would I be? In the bed. <laughs> I'm not gonna jump on the bed, are you fucking kidding me? I'm gonna look at the bookshelf. Because it holds untold Foundation. secrets. Okay, I guess. All right, I'll read the book. Whoa, half the pages are gone, and the rest. Can I use the time yeah, stone to repair the pages? <laughs> I'm going to look at. I'm not going to jump on the bed. That's fucking. I'm not going to do that. Guess blue really is Fred's favorite color. Even the bed's blue. Personally, I don't know how I came to this. Because cyan is my favorite Minecraft color, but for some reason or another, all of my uh, all of my beds are orange. I just always make Indeed. orange beds now. No one's used this thing for a long time. And acacia uh, wood things. Yeah, I don't have to go in the closet. I just want to see what else is there. Oh, excuse me. I mean, <clears throat> more accurately, see what else there is. Oh shit! There's a book here. I'm going to look at it. And then I'm gonna read it. Brave new Enderman, by Soren. Oh shit! <laughs> Definitely not what I'm looking for, but 
Man. Soren's books are fucking everywhere. Different dimensions, under the bedrock, fucking everywhere. Once upon a time, there was a little Enderman who was afraid of the dark. All the bigger Endermen taunted him and didn't let him play their Enderman games. <laughs> um, can I, is there more or is it the same entry? Yada, yada, yada. He faces his fear. He's a brave new Enderman. Okay. I get that. I uh, look at the book. I'm not gonna jump. I'm not gonna jump on the bed. I'm not. I'm not that kind of person. I mean, I know it won't be a problem, but I just don't want it. It would go against my moral compass. In here now. Except a button. Except that button. Yeah, like <laughs> there's nothing in here. Oh shit! I see it's that now. Uh... Oh, I thought someone else was coming down to me, not the other Secret way around. Room. Fred's just really down here. There's gotta be something down here. As long as I put the torch back. <gasps> Map room! Fred's keep. Romoburg and the Oasis. I'm gonna look at this book and then I'm gonna read the book. This Always book look at the things. The Survivor's Book of Secrets. Okay. Secrets are good. Yeah, I'm gonna read I'm gonna read the Survivor's Book of Secrets. This book contains the collective knowledge of the survivors. We're an underground group of survival experts who have been around since the early days. It goes on. Signed by the chief. The chef. What was he cooking? Okay, let's see. Is there anything over here? Oh, yeah, there, there's books over here too. Another book. Great. But it's unmarked. No author. Clearly, it was written by me. I'm gonna read it. Ah, uh, it was written by Lucas. I know I had my doubts, but it was worth leaving home. Hey! I'm glad I had Sara and Romeo with me. Nice. This... This is Fred's journal. Oh, it's Romeo Berg. I, I thought it was Romo Berg. I don't anymore. It hurts. All I wanted was the three of us, together. Maybe we should have never left the cabin. Hey! We weren't just happy there. We were home. They were the ones that spawned into the world originally. Then he wasn't talking about here. There's got to be something in here that says where this cabin is. Maybe it's on this map. Three towns. There's the oasis there, and the keep. Third is... Romeoburg. <laughs> Seriously? What kind of name is a Romeo bird? What kind of name is Beacon? No cabin, though. Yeah, uh, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Put the torch Nothing back. Else in here. Maybe the others found something. We probably gotta go to Romeo Berg. Romo Berg. Binta! Jesse, I. There's something I need to ask you about. Sure. Uh, I didn't jump on the bed. Do you know the answer to that last question? It's not common knowledge, and it was shared with me in great confidence before, well, before this place was considered underneath. I knew because Zara told me. She knew Fred better than anyone. Zara? As in, Fred's Zara. The Zara. Yes. The one and only. She yeah. She hasn't been seen down here in a very, very long time. Oh, she back. You're more impressive than you seem. Yeah, Maybe I'm amazed. Right after all. Maybe you are from above the bedrock. Did I ever actually Rumors tell you that? have been going around since your arrival. There aren't many people okay. we don't recognize down here. No, I get that, I get yeah, that. Yeah, about that. Well, did you at least find what you were looking for? This weapon? Um, no. I don't know why Fred would have one. But I must admit I'm curious. Not the weapon exactly, but some promising clues. Romeo, Zara, and Fred had a cabin that they called home. We need to find it. Romeo? Did they say Romeo? The admin? Yes, the admin. Right now he's in our town pretending to be me. We need to stop him. Problem is, we don't know where the cabin is. I want to help you, but there's something I need from you in return. Sure. If you're really from up there, then you must have a way back. Take us with you, above the bedrock. Uh, I mean... Vinta, what are you saying? We don't know what's out there. It has to be better than this. 
We're safe here. And if Romeo... Romeo trapped us down here. He wants us to stay. I won't give him the satisfaction. You welcomed us in. Of course we'll help you. Thank you. Sounds like you may have to do some convincing. They'll come around. Eh, whatever, you know. The mycelium on this island has kept the monsters from spawning, and we've been safe here so far. Okay. But it won't last. Should I actually Our stop only chance for spawning? a real future huh. is up there. We gotta try that one out. Zara's repairing the portal that will take us up. If you want to go through, meet us at the oasis. Fred left this to me before he. Oh, it'll lead to his bed. Oh, okay. The needle points home. When he didn't come back, I tried to follow it, but got stopped at the gates to Romeoburg. Told you we had They've to go there. A massive army, so be careful. Ooh, that ain't no good. Please, take good care of it. You've shown I can trust you to respect Fred's memory. Yeah, I trust you. You didn't have to do this. Thank you. Really. You're very welcome. I'll prepare my people. You take these. What are these? Signal us when you're Oh, ready. they're fireworks. I get you. I'm sorry, I've just never seen the 3D model Great, for them. Great, here. We've got a new destination, so... Uh, wait, what? I, I don't think... He wants to stay here, I think. What did he say? He says he's not coming with us. He's gonna stay here and wait for Jack. You know what? I respect Learn. that. We can't just leave you here by yourself. I understand, Nurm. Someone should be here when Jack gets back. Sorry, Petra. I gotta, I gotta side with the villager on this one. He says he'll look for the fireworks. Once he finds Jack, they'll meet us at the oasis. Okay. Hey, stay safe. Stay safe. Or stay alert, stay safe, sorry. Stay alert, stay safe. Yay! How are you supposed to find our signals if you're launching your own? Fucking stop and chill and stop. I, I seriously gotta replace all the flooring in, a, in somewhere with my ceiling just to see if it works. I just wanna see that. Also, we got quite the quest ahead of us. I can't believe how obsessed those people were with that Fred guy. So weird, right? You don't have I to mean, scream. Were they really that different from you with Jesse? I what? No, you, I, I am a stone cold professional. My interest in Jesse was <laughs> completely professional. Don't be so sensitive, Radar. Petra's just teasing you. I know, I know. Just a little too real. Sorry, Radar. I, I just tease because I love. Sure. To tease. <laughs> so, uh, I would have made a I would have made a joke, say, but no, so it is absolutely a not safe for work joke, which does not fit this game at all. Seems like we're still on. Trucks out! Everybody brace yourself! Rough ride! Man, take it easy, rap. Oh, is it a witch or is it a person? It's a person. No, it can't be. What the? But he can't be here. Cobalt Underwood? Why is he attacking? Damn it, this is me. Stop. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Oh, oh, hey, blah, blah. Attack. E. I didn't get to see that. The action was cut out. <laughs> this is absolutely cobalt, by the way. Like, full on, this is, this is my buddy, Connor JMF. Didn't think I'd... Huh? Only one person I know fights like that. Wait a minute. You are the real Jesse. Ivor. Ivor? <laughs> Holy I, shit. Your friend Ivor. When the fuck did you get out here? I'm gonna need you now, Jesse. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, 
What? It all started when I fell through a portal into some sort of strange world. <laughs> I want to punch him so badly. Master Shadow's domain. <laughs> he claimed he was a ninja master, a practitioner. Nice. <laughs> you see, ninja reflexes. <laughs> Wait, you tried to hit me. Why'd you try to hit me? For all time's sake. Been quite painful. Wow. Master Shadow teach you how to whine too? <laughs> uh, sorry, Ivor. Just something about your face makes me think punchy thoughts. Don't worry. People tell me the same thing. I, uh, I see. <laughs> but seriously, what are you doing down here? Uh, right. Yeah, we're great friends. Let me explain. Yeah. You see, it all started when Harper and I returned from our vacation. Okay. We okay. discovered that while we were gone, you had mysteriously vanished. After fighting a prismarine giant oh. named Admin. Right. Only to return. Having defeated this Admin and taken his amazing powers. Wait, what? Yeah, that's not right. Wow, I gotta admit, the Admin cooked up a pretty smart plan. That's good. Are you kidding me? What? Just it's smart. Right. Now the admin gets to be Jesse and have admin powers. Pretty good deal. Jesse, aka the admin, the fake one, gave me this and told me he had reprogrammed it to find the fraud, aka you. But with my new ninja senses, <clears throat> I could tell something wasn't right. Also, you're just Anyone smart. Disagrees. Stop trying Anyone to be cool. Anyone who questions Jesse disappears. They must hate me. It's certainly not helping your reputation. No, but I knew that Jesse, the real Jesse, would never act like that. Yeah, that's yeah. why I decided to try and use this opportunity to discover the truth. Uh huh. Luckily, it worked out because I would have felt terrible about killing you. Sure. Classic thing to say to your friends. I can tell you're being sarcastic. Hmm. But you'd be surprised. Please, as if you could have actually killed me. I'm a ninja now, Jesse. <laughs> you'd be surprised just how deadly I can be. I mean, I would be surprised. Anyone else get chills? I got chills from that one. Anyway, Wait, but what am I, I doing? What's up? Wasting time talking. That's... If I don't get back to the prison soon and report in, the more senseless know that violence. Something isn't right. That's perfect. You can make up a lie, and he'll never suspect that I'm actually down here. Which will buy you the time you need to find Fred's weapon. Hold on! How'd you know about I'm that? I'm a ninja. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> He's really living up this whole ninja thing. what exactly thing. should right. I tell the admin? Hmm. It needs to be plausible, but dramatic. Yeah. We're still plausible, in prison. I died trying to escape. But shocking. Yeah, that tell one. him I died trying to flee the Sunshine Institute. Fluff up his ego. Let him think he built an inescapable prison. Oh, yes. A fed ego is happy, hey. ego after all. I'm sorry I can't stay longer, but I must go. No, no. Go. Dude, it's cool. We'll we see fucking, you when we get back we to got this. Oh, wait. Can I borrow that amulet? Certainly, but why? Long story involving a portal and a magic frame, but it'll help us get home. Please hurry. It's getting dire up there. Smoke bomb! <laughs> No, well, he actually disappeared. I'll give him that. Oh, uh, God fucking... <sighs> you saw nothing. I'm getting tired of this trope. <laughs> I see it everywhere. We all just saw that, right? I, I didn't, like, hallucinate Ninja Ivor. Nuh-uh. Does just Radar know Ivor? That crusty dude couldn't get any weirder. <laughs> and we're ready to roll. Right? Come on, guys. We good. Let's go. Good to know that he made something of himself. But, that'll have to do it for this one. Ugh. Excuse me. That'll have to do it for this one. So thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Kiwi. You've been great too. And you have yourself a delightful day. And goodbye.